Hello everybody, I'm Clayton Alexander. This is Andrew Geiger. We're personal trainers with Edge Can See, Flex 151, and Live Well. And today we're gonna to tell you a little bit about a shake we have. Uh, Molly Angel, our co-owner, actually developed this shake. So Andrew, why don't you tell us a little bit about it? Yeah, well it's called the Matcha Green Tea Smoothie. Um, I tried it for the very first time. I absolutely fell in love with it. Today we're gonna to show you two different ways on how you can prepare this shake. One is if you're not on the sugar detox and the other is going to be shown as if you were on the sugar detox, okay? But either way you make it, it still tastes great, all right? So the first thing you wanna do is get your uh, silk almond milk. Now, if you're on the sugar detox, make sure it is unsweetened. That's very, very important, okay? But again, if you're not on the sugar detox, just go ahead and get your vanilla flavor silk almond milk. I love vanilla, so I'm all about this drink already, okay? Awesome. Next is a Royal Matcha Green Tea. This is has eight times the antioxidant count as a regular green tea, and it has less detriment than another form of caffeine, coffee or something of that nature. The next ingredient that you're going to use is going to be half of an avocado, okay? Um, there's some discrepancy about the avocado. I prefer my avocados to be somewhat firm and soft at the same time. Um, if it's too smushy, it just doesn't taste right to me, but that's my own personal preference, so yeah. And the next thing that you're gonna need is Handy dandy banana. All right, so if you're on the sugar detox, you want a banana that is green tip. So you want to look for one that does not look ripe at all and has more green on it. This will have a lot less sugar. So uh, today we're not talking about sugar detox. So you want one that is browning or nice and yellow. And the last thing you're going to need is going to be your handy dandy vanilla extract. Okay, a half teaspoon is all you need. Again, I'm a vanilla freak, so I use a little bit more than is called for, but I always think outside the box. So Ingredients call for half a teaspoon, so there you go. And this is the finished product right here, guys. All right, it tastes great, I love it. Um, it's a beautiful green, I think, in my opinion, but I'm not looking at it, I'm drinking it, all right? So listen, we're gonna head on out, but we so appreciate you guys giving us great comments and feedback on the videos. We will see you guys next weekend, and we hope that you have a great day. Absolutely. All right, bye.